Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Elvis <laughs> and how Elvis can, well, still teach the country a whole lot. In fact, he can help us see the future. Today, Elvis is uh, a national icon in a lot of ways. But what about when he first came on scene? Was he universally loved? No, no. In fact, there was a, a pretty big backlash against him. Really big. There were demonstrations. Some states, they either did or tried to pass laws banning his type of performance. Some cities wouldn't let him play when he was on TV. They would only show him from certain angles. There's commentary in newspapers about him. Um... And that they didn't like him. In fact, you can find articles where they used his name in the headline, but then throughout the article, they just referred to him as the pelvis. Elvis, Elvis, leave me be. Keep that pelvis far from me. Why? Why was there this backlash? There's two reasons. And part of it was the charged nature of, when it came to uh, the way he danced, which was, I mean, today it seems kind of quaint. But at the time, you know, people were screaming, oh, think of the children. But there was something else that had a lot more to do with the backlash. And uh, it's because he was breaking down a wall. He was breaking down a wall and challenging roles. And for a white Southern man to be doing it, oh, it infuriated people. Now, there, there's a whole video that could be made about how Elvis could be perceived to have basically just ripped off black music and profited off of it. That, that's a whole video that can be made. But that's not why people were mad at the time. Nobody in the South in that period of time cared if somebody ripped off black folk. That, was, that wasn't a concern of theirs. The concern was that he was taking black music and getting it to white kids. That was the problem. It challenged those roles, those roles that existed. And... People are reluctant to change. Now, we know that the backlash wasn't successful, right? I mean, he, he's on a stamp today. The backlash was not successful. Did society collapse? No, right? We all just evolved. We got better. We, we moved on. But why were people so opposed to it? We know now that society didn't collapse. So what was the opposition? It wasn't rooted in reality, right? It wasn't rooted in, in any real tangible effect that was going to occur. It's just perception, roles, tradition, peer pressure from dead people. That's it. That's what it was rooted in. When he challenged those roles, maybe even unintentionally, he, he upset those people who want everything to remain the same. And they created these doomsday scenarios about what was going to happen in the future. And n none of it happened. You know, we have the benefit of hindsight. None of that occurred. So, how does this help us see the future? Time moved on. We changed. But the more things change, the more they stay the same. Can you think of any performers today that are challenging roles? That have people screaming, Oh, think about the children! that are just doing their thing. 
if you were one of those standing outside of those performances, understand you're going to look as silly as the people who protested Elvis. That's what the future has in store for you. You will be ridiculed by somebody in the future because your concern is based on tradition. Your concern is based on peer pressure from dead people. These outdated roles that you want people to fit in. That's what it's based on. It's not based on anything in like real life. At some point in the future, there will probably be one of those people on a stamp. Something that that uh, group of people who are out there protesting and raising a moral panic, something that they might want to take to heart that came from both Elvis and Jesus. Don't be cruel. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.